Hello and welcome back to Coding with Unity. My name's Andy and today we will be making a simple, easy to extend tweening library so we can apply effects to our UI like the ones you see now. If you don't know what a tweening library is, it's simply a collection of algorithms for moving or affecting objects. Ours will be focused mainly for UI, but can be extended to any type of object. Going into Unity, you'll see I already have a scene set up with a health bar and a button. When you click the button, it removes 5 HP from the player, which fires an event on the player, letting all classes registered to it know that the health has been changed. Now what we want to do is add effects to our health bar that play every time we take damage. So, the first thing we will do is create a folder called tween library in the root directory of our project and a script folder within that. Now let's create an interface for setting up the contract of how these effects will be called. We will call it I UI effect and on this interface we will have an enumerator called execute. Using this interface we can apply its contract to classes that inherit from it. But before we do that, let's define better the boundaries in our project by creating an assembly definition inside of our tween library folder. Going back into our editor, you can better see the boundaries by going into your solution view and noticing that the scripts folder for our tween library are now clearly separated from the rest of our project which means we can safely package these files up and move them into a new project with no fears of having links to missing code when imported. So, with all that being said, let's create a new folder and call it effects. And in this folder, let's create a new class called scale rect effect that inherits from the IUI effect. Before creating the rest of the class, let's just create our constructor and pass a rec transform into it. And then later we can add more complexity to it once we understand how the execute is going to be fired. Once we create that class and implement its contract, we can go into our health panel class and create a variable of type UI effect and in our awake method, we can say effect equals new scale rect effect. Now, we can simply say start coroutine effect.execute inside the handle health changed method. Let's now add a debug.log inside of our execute, go back into Unity, and click the button to make sure our coroutine is firing. Now we can set up the rest of our class by giving it a max size for the maximum scale size and a scale speed for the speed we want to reach that size at. Then we can pass in a yield instruction to let us know how long we want to wait at that maximum size before returning back to the default size. So inside of our execute, we'll just use a while loop and a vector3.lerp to lerp to our maximum size. And then after our yield instruction, we'll just lerp from our max size back to our default size. After doing that, we can go back into our health panel class and pass in the rest of the variables that the constructor requires and set up our yield instruction, which will be a new wait for seconds with a wait time. Make sure it's slider.get component. Going back into Unity and clicking play, you'll see when we click the button, it scales the rect accordingly. But when we go to add another effect in, which we'll just call the shake rect effect, and I'll just quickly throw the code into this file. If you want a deeper look at this code or how it works, you can follow the link in the description below to get to my GitHub, which has all of the code available for you. We would have to say effect2 equals new shake rec effect. 
then effect2.execute. That would get pretty annoying to work with when we want to fire this effect in other places or make changes to it. So we can instead make a list of IUI effects and then in awake we can add the effect to the list and now in our handle health changed method we can iterate over the effect and execute them. But it's not really the responsibility of our health panel to have a list of effects that needs adding to within awake or to handle iterating over them for execution. Its responsibility should only be deciding what effects to use and when to execute them. It shouldn't know or care about how they are stored or what methods are used to execute them. So, we can make another class called Effect Builder and move the list and the iterator in the methods of its own, which can then be called inside of our Health Panel class. We can also go ahead and set up a constructor that passes in a mono behavior so we can use that mono behavior to fire the coroutine. Now let's set up a method called add effect and pass in an IUI effect and add that effect to our list. Now that we have the effect builder class made, we can create a new effect builder in our health panel class and add effects to it with the add effect method, which we can chain on the end of our constructor to make a chain of added effects. After adding the effects, we can go to the method that is fired when our event is called and say effects.execute all effects. After doing that, let's go into Unity and click remove 5HP to make sure it all still works. Once confirming it does, let's create a new class called Flash Color Effect that extends from IUI Effect, and what this class is going to do is it's going to flash the color that we select for a certain period of time before flashing back to the default color. And as I said before, if you want a better in-depth look at how this code works, you can go to my GitHub to download the source code. Once creating the class, we can add it on to our list of effects by doing dot add effect and creating a new flash color effect, and then passing the required fields into the constructor. Now, let's go back into Unity, set up the properties we need to set up on our script, click play, and make sure everything is working. As you can see, everything we added in works just fine. I hope you can see how this could be used to create an easy to extend tweening library that you could use between multiple projects. And as you probably know, there's multiple tweening libraries that you can download already available. This is just more to show you how they're made or how you could make your own. That's it for this video. If you want to download the code for this project, you can simply take my GitHub URL open the package manager and click add from git URL then paste in the link from my GitHub And then once all of the files for the tween library are imported, you can click the import sample package which contains the scene I made in this video. You might notice in the code I also have some methods for when the effects are completed. If you want to see a video on how that was created, leave a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, have a wonderful day and stay coding.